done an edit with me vlog in a while honestly i don't know if i've ever done one kind of like this where i'm just like vlogging it more but i thought it'd be fun to do an edit with me vlog today while i pop in and out of the process of making a teaser video a teaser wedding trailer for my friends who got married back in may in Yosemite. I was there as a guest, but of course I brought my camera and I went along with them for their portrait session. So we don't have any dialogue from the day, but I wanted to just show the process of me um, making a teaser video and my workflow that goes into it. It currently is 8.16 this morning and I've been up since about 6.30. I was working on some newsletter stuff and then um, I went into music bed. I picked out a couple songs that I'm gonna try. And the first thing I like to do with teaser videos is actually lay the audio. I don't think that I'll get to do the screen recording until like nap time when Lana is down for a nap later. But I'll show you a quick screen recording of what I have so far. So one of the first things I thought of was like, when I'm looking at my wedding footage, I'm remembering the vibe of the day and like remembering the energy. So those are my keyword searches that I put into Musicbed. Musicbed is where I get all my music and license it. So I first start with adventurous, cinematic. I knew I wanted something like full adventurous music. So I put those in here and I'm trying out a couple of these first ones in the wedding film. So I'm gonna pop over here and uh the first so i was like listening to it and right here in the music it's very upbeat um you can see from the levels it's just really upbeat so i'm thinking that because it is kind of like cutting in part way like it is a clip from the full film so that's what i like to do for my edits for social media i want them to feel like it's a clip from the full film well, a question that you might have at this point is like well do you edit vertically 16 by 9 or do you do 9 by 16 for instagram or TikTok or whatever if it is like a cinematic edit like this then i'm just going to flip it so basically i'm going to edit this all in a 16 by 9 and then i just post it rotated because i don't know people are kind of like doing that already People are doing that again. I don't take the time to say, to put that little thing that says rotate your phone. I just do it. And people obviously already know to like rotate their phone. <laughs> Back to the music and the cadence. I start with the music and I'm just gonna like fill it in here with some like fire shots, I call them. With my friends, Brittany and Jerry, I know that they would really value, I think, clips that feel a little bit more like raw but still refined in a way i feel like that's just kind of also like everything i do with all my wedding videos is raw but like refined feeling raw and refined to me means raw emotion and not like not like bawling crying but just like personality i want to show clips that have personality but at the same time I want to, I don't want it to be like all shaky and feel like it's on a camcorder or like a Super 8. I don't do Super 8. I maybe do a couple clips here and there that feel like they're Super 8, but I, the majority of my films are more calm and focused and just like intentional shots, but I still like to have personality in them. And I'm gonna like start with a couple like fire shots and then um, it goes into kind of a softer verse right here where you can see the wavelengths and the lyrics of the song are kind of like we're going higher blah blah blah, blah and we've reached to the top and I just thought that that was like perfect for having Yosemite elopement <laughs> so in here I'm gonna probably show I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of a time shift like this is obviously their portraits that I'm gonna put here fire shots and then starting here, I'm gonna do a little bit of a chronological, like maybe us going up to the first look area and then him waiting and then the first look moment, the emotions, um, like the emotions that led into that. And then I'm gonna show like getting ready for the ceremony and then it picks up again here. So then that's what I'm gonna show the ceremony happening. And then I'm gonna round it off again here with some more um 
I'm gonna round it up here with some more like portraits of their time together. And then I usually just do like my logo at the end. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But for right now, I do need to wake up Lana and get our morning started. And then I'm probably gonna get back to this like around lunchtime slash um, when she's ready to take a nap. So hopefully she takes a nap. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be we'll be editing with her, I don't know, watching a movie or something. So, all right, let's get this day started. And yummy. I get almond butter apples. <laughs> I am back from our morning play date and I I honestly was like not sure if I wanted to um, if I wanted to like bail on this video idea and just like get more work done with like our ceilings here or if I wanted to like just dive into this but also it's Thursday and I currently have nothing to post on my YouTube channel for for tomorrow i always try to post something weekly not my main business like i'm not a youtube youtuber but like my main business is um being a wedding videographer and that's like my main thing that has generated me the most revenue so i always consider myself like putting revenue producing activities first so that being said i want to dive back into this edit Step one that I was mentioning before is that I always like to prioritize the music first when I'm editing a wedding video trailer or teaser because for social media, the driving force is the music and the cadence. Um, it's not so much the story and the, I feel the dialogue as much. There's like a quick sequence that of dialogue that you can really have stand out, like the story and in a raw way, then that's great. Um, but at least for me and my brand, I feel like a lot of my couples reach out for breathtaking shots, like breathtaking, like cinematic shots that, like I said before, that feel raw yet refined um, together. That being said, um, I have my track picked out. I'm pretty sure this is what I'm gonna go with and I'm gonna just start laying in some B-roll here and we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> So even with teasers, you can tell a full story. Fire shots in the beginning that show more about, that, that kind of tease into what the day was, obviously. It's a wedding teaser. And then from there, I'll go into a chronological sequence of like how, like a chronological summary of the moment leading up to like their ceremony. And I almost always show like a first look or a first kiss. You can have a marriage without a wedding. And I think that like when you're celebrating your wedding day, the key things that everyone wants to see is when the couple first sees each other, the the love, the heart that goes behind that moment. And then of course, also the first kiss and the celebration. Um, so I just tried to show a little bit of that in a summary in basically 30 seconds to a minute. It is now a few days later and I was able to send that video to Brittany and Jerry. Um, also too, like after editing this, you could probably hear it in my voice. Me and Chris, like we, we all got like really sick, like our whole house got sick. So I'm still recovering a little bit, but um, I sent it to them. They had some wonderful words to say. I knew they would love it. I think they just, they just wanted something short and sweet to kind of just like highlight um some of like those cinematic like beautiful vista shots that they just really loved honestly when they were even searching for their photographer they Brittany was telling me like i want someone that does almost like landscape photography with people in it so i knew they were going to love a lot of those wide shots i'll go ahead and show you the final edit of this Keep climbing until we're on top Leave the shadows below
all in all, Brittany and Jerry are really good friends of ours. And luckily that being said, you know, it was a lot easier to understand what they probably wanted in their wedding video teaser. And if you are editing a wedding teaser or you're working with couples and clients, always, if I could just leave one tip of advice, just follow their wishes and desires. And usually if they've already booked you, it's something that you already have a signature style for. So I love talking about editing and storytelling. So I'll see you in the next video.